Hello and welcome to the Dorkly Rundown. This is brought back due to popular demands. So here we go. Uh, first off, we're going to start with the uh, the DC Extended Universe. Some news coming out this week, um, really quite recently. Um, ben Affleck is uh, has, has stated that he is done after the Flash movie as Batman. It's a little. Um, Pros and cons there. I think he was. I, I mentioned this in a previous video for the the new Batman um, uh, trailer reaction. Uh, I, I think Ben Affleck fits the role pretty well. I just think that the movies he's been in is poorly written. Um, it's gonna be a little sad, but I can see why they're restarting yet again. Uh, here comes Batman number ten. Um, we'll we'll kind of see if. Um, our Batman from the nineties, eighties, nineties. Um, Michael Keaton is is going to continue going. Um, there is news that he is in the new Bat Girl, Bat Woman. I don't know what it's called. Movie that's coming out. Definitely not looking forward to that movie. Um, but um, he will play the Batman in that. I don't know if that's a one off or if it's in the extended universe. Um, well, I guess we'll have to kind of wait and see. Uh, with with Ben Affleck confirming that he's done, you almost have to wonder if Henry Cavill is also going to be done. Um, there's been a lot of rumors for years uh, if he's in or out. Um, I'm pretty sure he wants to stay in. He is Superman. I think he uh, just he also fits the role pretty well. Um, again, I think a lot of his movies are poorly written. So we'll kind of see how that goes. Um, and does that mean that we're bringing in Michael B. Jordan as the new uh, the new Superman? Um, that'll be kind of interesting to see how that plays out. Um, I don't know how I feel about that, but I don't know if we'll have a lot to say. I mean, The Flash is bringing us what um, Marvel, and Sony are bringing us with the extended uh, with the uh, multi dimensions. Uh, whatever they have to call it to make it not, um, you know, the same as as Marvel, but um, it's an it's a good way. The Flash movie is a good way, I guess, to introduce recastings. Um, it's not a bad way in the future, but you know, I I do wonder if we're gonna get become um, a little over the multi universes. We saw it in Spider-Man uh, into the the Spider Verse, which I think was extremely well done. Um, but you almost have to wonder, like, are we going to get over it? Now we have four different series. We have one. I think they're. I can't remember if it's on Prime. I saw a, a trailer for it. Um, it's a one-off movie, but it's. It almost looks like it's making fun of it, but it. I think it's pretty real. Uh, and then uh, to go along. I guess with the DC Extended Universe, uh, Keanu Reeves had an interview um, and was asked what roles he wish he could continue, and one of them is Constantine, which would be fairly interesting if we were able to get that. It, I think we should. Uh, Keanu is, um, is a very hot actor at this moment. He is very well liked among almost every community, regardless um, of how I feel about the Matrix Resurrections. Um, I mean, it's not Keanu's fault. <laughs> he still did well in that. Um, I personally thought he was going to say Duke Kaboom. I mean, I would like to watch a Disney Plus um, series on just Duke Kaboom and it, the Canadian uh, stunt former. What are they called? I don't know. Maybe he's from Butte, Ontario. I don't know. Um, that's Evil Knievel's from Butte, Montana. I guess I should preface that. Um, so anyway, I, I think it's interesting. It'd be kind of cool to see Constantine come in um, yet again, I guess. Um, let's let's kind of start to look to implement that again. A word from our sponsor. If you have mosquito problems, invest in bats. Put a bat house outside. And bats will come and swoop up the mosquitoes. If you if you can't afford the real Batman, here's an alternative.
All right, now back to our regularly regularly scheduled program with Star Wars. Um, announced that Kira is uh, perhaps going to have a Disney Plus series. Why? I don't know. Uh, I think they're really trying to um, have Solo become more successful, and it could lead to more of a Lando, you know, bring in the Lando aspect of it as well. Um, kind of see how that plays out. I mean, the actor, was it... Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. Emily Clark is pretty good, I guess. I don't. I haven't watched Game uh, Game of Thrones, but um, from what I've heard, it's excellent, and everything else she's in seems to be pretty good. Um, but I mean, overall, I think the solo movie kind of a dud, right? So that'd be kind of interesting to see how that plays out. But it also ties into the next kind of pieces here, which is. Uh, the Book of Boba. Now, obviously, Book of Boba is ex further out, let's just say, right? Um, but we could see an older version. If you can de-age, you can re-age. I don't know. Um, Kira in the, the Book of Boba. There's been no rumors of that. I'm making that shit up. Uh, Han Solo is rumored. Uh, Harrison Ford, which is very surprising to me. Not because of the connection with Boba, because that makes sense, right? Um, it's the fact that Harrison Ford has been wanting to get out of Star Wars since the first movie that he was in back in 1976 or um, whatever movie or whatever time that was. Um, the fact that he's coming back is, is a little strange. The money must be uh, pretty good. Now, I did see that he has an injury from Indiana Jones I don't know, five or six, whatever they're at. So it, it'll be kind of interesting to see if he's able to come back and actually have a huge role or if it's just a cameo, um, like a Luke kind of thing in The Mandalorian 2. But let's, but let's see how that plays out. And then kind of going uh, in the same direction there, um, it would not be surprising at all if, I, if we saw Maul, right? If you've watched uh, Boba Episode 2, spoiler now, um, pikes are in it. Um, and pikes are have a huge connection with Darth Maul, or just Maul. Sorry, let's remove the Darth now. Uh, with huge connection with Maul as uh, the syndicate leader, right? So, are we going to see Maul in this series? There's been a lot of hype, and I've mentioned this before that um, in in a previous video that you know we're seeing Maul a, a new Maul in. Um, in the Galaxy of Heroes, it's a video game on your on your phone. Um, we're seeing him in um, other type of movies, uh, rumored with uh, Obi Wan as well. Obviously, big in um, um, the Clone Wars TV series. Um, so, I mean, are we going to see him in a, another live action? Uh, is Ray Park coming back as Darth Maul? Sorry, Maul in. Um, in the book of Boba. I mean, I think that'd be pretty sweet. Um, I'd be pretty excited to see, um, you know, how that turns out. Um, I, I always thought he was a character that was, um, that did not get the screen time he should have. So, um, let's, let's see how that plays out. And then, um, I kind of just want to, um, end on, it's not really a rant as, uh, as this would say, but, um, can we just appreciate, what is coming to us i have seen multiple articles and comments across the board about how slow the book of boba is um or how it's a filler or how the mandalorian was a filler or w whatever else can we just appreciate it both the mandalorian and the book of boba are extremely well done visually very appealing um, and the story is well done just because a story it takes a little bit longer to come across than a movie which makes sense because a movie is a condensed one and a half hour, two hour um, item where you're trying to crunch everything together versus, you know, this Boba, a book of Boba where we have, what is it going to be? Eight episodes probably of 30 to 50 minute episodes. I mean, you're getting to see what, what did Boba have 20 minutes in the movies uh, of screen time. And now you're already, I mean, first episode of this, you already got more screen time. So can we just appreciate this? Dave Filoni. 
is the man. All right. He's not going to screw us over. Just be patient. Appreciate it. I think the book of Boba number one and two uh, episodes, one and two were well done just because they're slow. It, whatever it's building up. It's showing a backstory of how God of the Sarlacc pit, how he was uh, training with um, the Tuscans. I mean, be real. Come on. I mean, you can see some of these that like, again, spoilers for book of Boba too. Um, when, uh, I can't, the, the twins come out, I mean, they come around the corner and it's slow and they're walking around, but it's a buildup. It brings you into that moment. Let it happen. Please let it happen. Thank you. I'm done. Let me know in your comments, uh, whether you agree or not, um, on any of these topics, but, um, can we just calm down? If, if Filoni's got his name in there, it should be okay. All right. I'm out. Uh, we'll see you in the next one.